It was guys, goodbye to my channel, it's Gumby. And yes, yeah, so in this video, we are gonna be talking about Icebreaker. So uh yeah, Merino Wool Company, they make uh shirts, underwear, uh base layers, all that shit. Uh yeah. So uh these three uh, actually so yeah, these three were the three original shirts that I've bought. These were my first Merino Wool shirts, and uh yeah. I've been enjoying them, but sadly, this is going to be an update video on the shirts so far. I haven't done uh, too much videos about my journey. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep you up to date. I don't I, like pff, shit. It's it's almost been a year since I had these shirts. So, um, yeah, very long, overweighted, uh, you know, update. But, uh, yeah, so let's first start off with this shirt. Uh this shirt was the first shirt that I noticed a hole in it. So you can see right here. Uh, let me go close up to focus. So yeah, right here. <laughs> My, uh, yeah, so I noticed I was like, damn, man. $50 shirt for a hole to be there? That that irritated me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I told this to my mom, and she stitched it. Bless her heart, man. I don't deserve her. So uh, yeah, very sad. $50 shirt. Even more expensive. More than $50. So yeah, very disappointed on the quality. So uh now a se the second shirt. This one has a lot more holes. Uh so yeah, right here, the bottom of the shirt, right here, right here. And I got a few little ones in the chest right here. And then there's a few in the back. There's a lot more, but <laughs> this is the ones that I remember. Yeah, right here. So you can see. So yeah. $50 shirt. Very disappointed. Surprisingly, this shirt didn't have any holes so far <laughs> that I could see. But uh this shirt. This is one of the newest shirts that I bought. I bought it in uh, February for a Florida trip. And I've only used it once, maybe twice, but that second time I barely used it right here. Uh, very disappointed. This is in the back. Like, man. And this one was $60, $65. What happened? I, I, I don't know what happened to this. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this is a uh, forty percent wool, and then the rest of it is plastic. And uh, these two shirts are a hundred percent merino wool. So yeah, at first I was like, all right, so maybe the wool quality is bad, maybe. But like then, this shirt that I barely use got a hole in it. So it's like, all right, so I guess it's a part of maybe. Their build quality on these shirts are bad because I got something that is in the shirt, a uh, neck guard, and this has a hole. Yeah, right here. So, yeah. Disappointed. You know, I've been, uh, I've been enjoying my uh, merino wool journey, buying the best products because, you know, I'm tired of, uh, I'm just tired, not, not tired <laughs> of cleaning my shirts, but like, Man, I'm tired of uh sweating in, you know, the the summers that are getting hotter and being inside like fuck. I'm tired of this. <laughs> I'm tired of the smelling the sweats and all that shit. So I was like, "All right, buy more merino wool." And it's 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 pretty good, you know? I don't want to say too much. I want to save it on a video. But yeah, I've been enjoying my merino wool journey, but you know, I don't know, like, maybe this is going to be just a video that's saying, I don't know, I'm warning people to buying uh, Icebreaker, because y you spend so much on a shirt, this is, it's already been, I, I bought this, it's already been a year that I bought this, because, and they say there's a warranty, a one year warranty, but it's already been too late, I didn't know this until, like, recently, so I was like, Oh, well, shit. Uh, I, I should have tested it out before. I might do it for this. I bought this in, like, in somewhere uh, February. So I might do it and check if, you know, they they really are about that warranty thing. But, uh, yeah, 
very disappointed, you know. Uh, um, you know, I I've bought more merino shirts, merino wool shirts from other brands like uh, what was it called? Uh, Duckworth and Smart Wool, and they have been really good. I enjoy those very well. You know, buying these shirts from this brand first. You know, I was like, uh, you you could tell in the video that I made about these shirts that I'm just like, oh, these these uh this merino wool is very delicate. Like I'm afraid of just, you know, accidentally breaking them. But when I buy other shirts, merino wool shirts from other brands, it's like, oh wait a minute, this is not a thing. <laughs> like maybe it's icebreaker. So yeah. Don't buy icebreaker shirts. If if Man, it's very disappointing because, you know, Icebreaker, out of all the companies, you know, I, I look at them and like, wow, all their shirts got really nice designs and really nice, like, um, just like, uh, you know, like, there's, there's such a good difference, you know, the way they make it. You know, I, I love this. Look at this. Look at this art piece. And then this one, you know, because it has like, um, uh, it's more breathable and it's way cooler. I, I actually like this. The This is called... Uh, What's it called? A uh, stitch? What's it called? A uh, knit cool or something? There's a technology they call it, but yeah, I I like it. It's it's very cool in the touch because you know merino wool, they're they're not really breathable, and they're not really good at keeping you very cool. But this one keeps you really cool, and also this one. This is the same, uh, you know, like um, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Technology in it, but yeah, very disappointed with um icebreaker um so yeah i don't recommend buying from them unless it's you know <laughs> almost anything else other than shirts um i, I haven't tried any jackets so I, I this has been a thing you know icebreaker you know not buying shirts from them it's always been a thing you know uh, there's been reddit pages talking about it you know and people don't recommend it but <laughs> for me i was like i, I kind of want to try because their shirts look cool and, you know, oh, this is a good, you know, uh, price. They're putting it on sale. So I wanted to try it. But uh, silly me, I got robbed. <laughs> Not robbed, but, like, you know, man. So, yeah, I don't recommend buying Icebreaker shirts. If you're buying underwear, socks, uh, base layers, okay. Actually, I, I, I actually do own some base layers from uh, Icebreaker. It's actually these, and they've been pretty good. I love them. Uh, only used them when it was cold, and it's only been one winter so far. But uh, yeah, so far they've been pretty good. Uh, underwear, pretty good too. I've had three of them; they're really good. And then uh, uh, socks, they don't they don't really have too much socks that I've owned. I I have one, but that's more for like hiking in colder you know times. So I haven't really used those. But uh, yeah. Sadly, I gotta not recommend icebreakers. So after this, I'm I'm not gonna buy any more uh, icebreakers. You know, I'll, I'll keep using the ones I got, and maybe I'll keep using them until you know they they all just disintegrate <laughs> until they all got holes in them. Uh, I'll check out if their warranty is really good. I'll probably do a shorten it. But uh, yeah, icebreaker really disappointed, and uh, yeah, uh, you know, one year. Uh, wearing wearing merino clothes videos coming so uh yeah bye